What was a fancy restaurant in the Soviet Union like? Let's try it out. Restaurants in the Soviet Union is an intriguing and thought-provoking topic usually left out from the grim stereotypes commonly taught about life in the USSR. I've already made a video where I discuss the Soviet canteens, known in Russian as Stolovayas, the subsidized meals that aim to feed millions of Soviet workers in an effort to improve gender equality in domestic labor. But those weren't the only restaurants in the Soviet Union. Another style of restaurant was a much more elegant and in some ways exclusive experience. Just like for many working class people in the West, for the Soviet worker, going to such a luxurious restaurant would be reserved to celebrate only the most important occasions. As a polar opposite to the affordable subsidized meals of the Soviet canteens, it would take many months of saving the money from an average worker's salary in order to attend the restaurant even for a single night. In this video, I'll be reviewing a recreation of this gourmet experience in Tiraspol, an incredible restaurant known by its thematic name, Back to the USSR. Hey, it's a nice dish. You can get a little bit of stole. You can speak English. Okay, yeah, perfect. That was sweet. Uh, just a table for myself then? Yeah, sure. Sit anywhere you want. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Tiraspol in general has really been working to expand bilingual access for their steadily growing tourism industry. This menu is obviously in both Russian and English for that reason. Uh, it had so many pages of mouth-watering options, but for today's review, I'm going to stick with some of the Soviet classics that I easily recognized. That is my thing. I really, really, really enjoy borscht. And this may be, this is my first time actually trying authentic borscht. We also have a good glass of Soviet vodka right here. So let's try this. Let's drink this a shot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is some incredible, incredible borscht. That is delicious. Absolutely phenomenal. Borscht bandit coming to you right here given this borscht. This is a 10 out of 10. Zazdrovia. There's this idea that Tiraspol is an edgy or even dangerous place for tourists to visit, but over there is a family visiting from the United States and then locals eating here as well, all enjoying delicious food together. This is uh, Solyanka. This is really, really uh, good every time I've ever had it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Was the borscht good? Uh, Incredible. Shall we leave it? Yeah, uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Right, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, so this is Solyanka, so I've already put the sour cream in. Uh, this is delicious stuff. Mm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Zazdrovia. Now what we have here is also, also a very typical Soviet dish, but a, you know, very typical for Russian cuisine. You have pelmi, pel, pelmini, pelmini. I thought I was pronouncing this correctly this my whole life, but I was saying pelmini. Um, but the waiter, who speaks perfect English, by the way, um, was kind of confused when I was saying it, but I think um, it's a pelmini, pelmini, I believe is how you, how you pronounce this. But essentially, it's a dumpling. They've got um, a meat in, inside of this dumpling here. So, mm. Mm. so good. So good. This dessert here, I don't actually know the name of it, but it's on special. Let's give this a shot. Looks delicious. Delicious Soviet dessert. Mmm. So good. I don't. What in the world? Wow. Tastes kind of caramel, nice cream. I, I don't know. I'm not a food reviewer really, but this is really, really good. This is our next dessert here. Take this here. Mmm. That was really, 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 really good. That was delicious. Love the berries on there as well. Good for your cholesterol. This is ice wine here. So apparently this is from the grapes that come right when the freeze snap hits, and the temperature gives rise to a certain sweetness in the um, in the wine. Um, it sounds really delicious. Let's see. Let's see how it tastes. That's so 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 good. Oh wow. Wow. That is really, really good. That is really, really, really good. Wow. Jesus. Y'all, I'm full as a tick right now. I'm full as a tick. Back here in the back in the uh, back in the USSR. 
So that's the both of you. The uh, waiter brought me this, and I was really confused. <laughs> I was really confused. This apparently is uh, where the check is. They put, they put the check in this. I'm now inspired to buy one of these, one of these myself. So there we go. And if anyone's interested in seeing how much this is, I'll put the exchange rate in the video. Um, and the price and everything like that, but this is me quite a lot of food, not a lot of price. Sorry. Yeah, Perfect. Wow. Yeah, here it is, and here the shop looks really interesting. Yeah, and also uh, you can yeah, come through, and there are also some stuff here. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Thanks so much. Our comrade Lennon's. Comrade Marx. Comrade Stalin. Lenin. Stalin. Yuri Gagarin. Uh, Zhukov, I believe. Marx. Wow. Incredible. And then he's got souvenirs. Souvenirs, wow. This is great. You can't go anywhere without your Soviet accordion. I use this to record my uh, my lessons. I think I'll, I'll learn Russian quite quick if I if I use the Soviet typewriter.